There we go. Okay, so we're recording. So as I said, we um, I've done this uh, training before, and it came about because a friend of mine uh, with uh, Send Out Cards uh, shared this document that she had created to do her power hour in her Send Out Cards business. And when I started in Send Out Cards, and I'll give you just kind of my quick background, when I started um, in Send Out Cards, it was because I was working with agents and I had, um, I was looking for just a few things that if agents did them well and consistently could do 99% of the heavy lifting in our business. So my background is uh, about 15 years as a real estate agent, pretty successful um, mortgage broker for seven, eight years before that. Between those two careers, I've done about 2,500 transactions. So I guess that would be relatively uh, successful in our, in our prospective careers. And um, I did a lot of things really well. And um, one of the things that I did not do well was my follow-up, staying in touch with people after I was out of the transaction. And so um, one of the things that I did do really well was calls. And, um, and man, I was, I was religious about my power hours. I was religious about my money-making activities. Um, and, um, I was very good at it. I didn't let anything get in the way. So if you leave with nothing else, if you guys can master, uh, your power hour and I, I will tell you, I had a coach one time tell me it was one of my early on coaches in real estate. He said, um, one hour of, of true money making activity equates one, one hour a day, five days a week equates into six figures, $100,000 a year in gross revenue. Two hours is 250, and three hours or more is $500,000 in revenue of, of money-making activity. Now, we think, and I was as guilty of this, so this, I'm not pointing fingers, I'm saying I was guilty of this. We act like we're real, real busy in real estate, and um, I'll be honest, most of us are not busy doing the right things. Um, we're not, uh, we're not, we're do, we avoid the hard things, and the, avoid, the, the avoidance of the hard things are the things that will make us the most amount of money. And so what I want you to walk away with tonight is not only this form, and I'm going to actually show you, I want to share a couple of other uh, tools that you can use to have a really powerful money making activity time or a power hour. And I love it because when I was at Keller Williams, uh, you know, they called it power hour. So I call it the powerful power hour. I'm not, I'm not at Keller anymore, but absolutely love Keller. I think they're one of the greatest, um, uh, training companies for agents that that's out there and um, and power hour if anything was to get your butts in some chairs and make you accountable and do your calls I just didn't really like um, I didn't like how they had us call and I don't know if you're like me but um, I didn't like um, agents were always saying well what do I say and how do I have a conversation? And so there's some mindset that needs to change. Um, I want you to write this down and I'm going to put it in the chat box. I want y'all to buy this book. Uh, y'all, I read three to five books a week. And this is one of the best books I have ever read in my life so much that I am going to go get certified to be a training coach in it because it was so unbelievable. And it's Michael Mayer. Y'all have probably heard of it, Seven Levels of Communication, but if you haven't, buy it tonight. It's the best book you'll ever read for real estate and any sales business. Um, so um, th that book will help bring in what we're going to talk about tonight. It's going to give you more layers to work from, and more than anything, it's going to help you with your mindset and your motivation when you're making your calls sending your cards, um, uh, doing videos. I don't know if any of you are doing any sort of video um, messaging. You should be if you're not. Um, yeah, very specifically, we're not going to get into that in this training. I really want to stick to the power hour with phone calls and cards tonight. Um, but I do use videos um, in, in my 
And uh, Aubrey, yep, you've read it three times. Awesome. Isn't it great? Aubrey, I'm going to uh, Atlanta um, a, uh, August 1st through the 4th getting trained. Uh, it takes it's about a three-year certification to go get uh, certified in all seven disciplines. So I'm really excited. And so I will be doing some serious training uh, when I get back from that. And I'll offer that to all of you. So anyway, all right, let's, let's hit this. So uh, I'm going to share my screen. And if you all haven't seen this form yet, it's because I just got it out to you. And literally, it's because there was so many of you that responded. I had to enter all your information in your email. So this is the Power Hour form. And what was really cool is my friend Kathy that created it, I've tweaked it a little bit. She had used it, uh, again, for doing her prospecting and send out cards. Uh, to people who would use the send out card system. I've tweaked it just a little bit for real estate agents. Uh, again, 15 years as a real estate agent. Uh, I've made thousands and thousands, literally thousands of phone calls, um, done every kind of marketing that you can imagine from doing auctions to doing um, for, uh, foreclosure uh, tours, um, putting gazillions of millions of signs out. I mean, I am, I was a mass, 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 mass marketer. Um, I've spent, you know, five, eight, ten thousand dollars a month on lead generation through Zillow and Zirple and all of those kinds of things. So I have spent an absolute fortune. And um, you know how sometimes you, when you look back over your career and you go, okay, what did I do and what could I have done better? Um, I've shifted my mindset quite a bit and primarily because of seven levels, it really, really helped me understand more is not better, less and intense. Um, and that's why power hour is going to be so much fun for you now, because you're really going to, when you understand um, that, you know, how exciting it can be to make a phone call or how exciting it can be to sit down and send a card that's very, very intentional and very outwardly focused and not focused on, you know, are you going to get a buyer or a seller or an investor or someone that's going to do business with you, but really being coming from a place of, um, of service and of helping, uh, the business is just going to come. It's, it's just going to come to you. So anyway, so let's talk about this form. Uh, so, you know, in a traditional, and if you're not from Keller Williams, it doesn't matter. I mean, a lot of, a lot of companies, you know, do calling and doing your prospecting time, but Keller Williams, um, you know, we, everybody comes in a room and it's how many dials, how many contacts, how many appointments. Okay. So I did this, the form that we've structured is, is basically like that. Um, the, the caveats that I have put to this, because I think a lot of people, don't know what kind of conversations to have when you're calling your sphere, right? Uh, when you're calling past clients, if you're doing that, uh, you know, that quarterly check-in call, um, you know, what do you say, right? What do you say to them? And um, there's, there's lots of different positions that you can come from. And um, again, I always lead my phone calls and definitely uh, you're on my email list. I've started doing cold calls uh, and warm calls. I don't really do cold calls. Well, yeah, I do. I do a lot of cold calls, um, but I warm them up and I'll show you what I'm going to show you that tonight. Um, but I, I'd love for you to sit in and watch my live calls and you can see how I make my calls. Um, I, I did that a couple weeks ago. We had about 50 people on the call and uh um, and I'm going to do more of them because I think it was really helpful for people to see how I set my appointments, what I said to them, um, uh, how I'm called new businesses, um, how I called past clients, how I called people that I might have met in a networking um, event. So there's all different kinds of people that we can call. So one of the things that I like to do with this, with this sheet, and I use the sheet and I also use this and this is one of the tools that I want to share with you if you haven't heard of it and I'm gonna write it down for you here let me just put it in the uh, chat box um, well, why does not let me do my chat box well it doesn't do it when I'm sharing so anyway it's teamsy 
T-E-A-M-Z-Y. Now, it's, it was built for network marketers, um, but as I've been using it, I'm like, this is the perfect thing for anybody in sales, anybody who makes phone calls, anybody who needs to connect with people on a daily basis. Um, and this is, it's very inexpensive. I think it's like $25 a month. And it is unbelievable. I've been using it for about five days and it's, I've never had anything that focused me so much. Um, I'll let you check it out on your own. Um, but you're going to notice right here, power hour. They also have a power hour. So between my sheet um, and my power hour in my Teamsy, these are the two things that I do my money making activity time. Now I block anywhere from three to five hours a day for my money making activities. I do a ton of it, a ton, 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 ton of it. Um, so this has been very, very helpful, keeping me very focused. I know how many prospects I need to talk to, how many customers I need to talk to. Uh, in my business, people that um, are referral partners, um, but you could have, you know, prospects, you could have your customers, you could have your sphere. So you could definitely break this down and make this very, very applicable uh, into your real estate business. And essentially what you do is you go through and you make your, you know, whatever activity that you're going to do with them to connect with them. Um, is all documented. Again, I'm not going to go into this. I, I'll, I'll do a whole other training on TeamZ because I love it. And I'm actually going to, I'm talking to the guy who invented this or created this about making one that's a real estate version because I think it's so powerful for real estate agents. But tonight I want to stick to our um, power hour form, but I just want you to know that there is an off. I'm very much about an off and online strategies. You use all of it, right? Um, it's not all online. It's not all offline. It's a great combination of both. So this is how I do my power hour now. Um, and again, if you do more than one hour, well then, you know, you can just, you can use a couple of these sheets in a day, but I start my power hour with cards. And this is why, and this is for those of you who, um, don't uh, like doing cold calls by sending um, a greeting card. Now I, I use send out cards. A lot of you know that um, I'm, that's one of my primary businesses is send out cards. It's a relationship marketing system. And it's because I, I, an agent introduced it to me that I didn't know um, from Canada. She and her husband are really, really successful team. She shared it with me. I implemented it into uh, what I was doing and it was, it, it was one of the best relationship building pieces that I had ever seen. Um, and so that is what I use. Now, you don't have to use send out cards to have the power hour, um, of the strategy or the way that I'm going to show you. It just makes it easier. It's less expensive and it's much more personal. So, um, but if you want to go to the store, buy a card and do all of that, you know, or order cards, uh, absolutely you can. But what I do is I, I spend 20 minutes of my hour and I send cards. Now, I promise that once you get good at sending cards, and I'm going to show you the, how I do it and how I plan for it, I can do about a card a minute. So in those 20 minutes, I literally can get anywhere from 10 to 15 cards out. Now, you guys, if you take that, because real estate's math, right? I mean, it's a math equation. It's just how many connections, how many contacts, it, it all equates into, um, it all equates into relationships, which equates into conversations, which it relates into people referring you business or doing business with you. But if I'm doing, and I do an average of 20 to 30 cards a day, but let's just say I do 20 cards a day times five days a week, that's a hundred cards times 52. That's 5,200 connections that I do every single year. When you do 5,200 connections with cards and the kind of cards that we send through send out cards, I promise you, you're going to close the, the um, right amount of business. Whatever your number is, um, it, it's, it's, going to, uh, it's going to give the net result that you're looking for. So what I do is either like tonight, actually, when we're done with this, 
I will do this. I will. Because most of us are friends with our uh, clients, with our sphere. I go to Facebook. And again, this is where I, um, I combine technology. And now, I'm not going to go into this because I am going to do another training. And this is a training that I learned from Hank Avink, which is how to categorize all of your friends um, on Facebook. But what I would do is I would just go to my homepage and I would just start scrolling through here and I can see, um, then I'm going to want to really, for the most part, I'm going to want to focus on my A's. My A's are my ambassadors who send me business, who are repeat clients of mine, um, who are influential in com my community, who are connectors. Um, you know, your A's may have different criteria, but that's what my A's are. So I'm always going to start with them, someone from my A's um, that are going to go into my cards. So I'm going to just scroll through here and you get it, everybody. I mean, they all live their lives on Facebook, right? So I can jump on here. And I can look until I see something that catches my eye, maybe an anniversary, maybe a birthday. Um, and what I would do is I would actually go into my criteria or my, um, my friend categories and I would pull, I can actually pull all the friends that are in my A's or in my B's or in my C's or in my connectors or in my influencers. And I have them all broken down in that way. Um, and so what I would do is I would go into those specific groups of friends and I would pull something um, like actually this is, um, this is one of my friends, um, but she's a, uh, She's very connected in the farming community. Uh, she's definitely someone that I stay in touch with. She is an A in my life and she has the most adorable child you've ever seen. He is so sweet. So what I would do is I would take that form uh, and I would write her name down. And in the morning, um, when I get ready to do my power hour, I'm gonna come back to her. I'm gonna pull a few pictures and I'm gonna just send I'm going to send uh, just thinking of you. I'm going to send, and I'll show you. Uh, if those of you who are not using send out cards, um, send out cards has about 20,000 different cards, everything. And I will tell you, I send a lot of just because cards or I send encouragement cards. Uh, it's real fun right now. It's summer. So I would just jump in and just do a fun little summer card for her, throw the baby on the front and just say, I hope you're doing well. Hope the flowers are growing. She's a, a flower farmer uh, and I used to be a flower farmer. And so that's how we know each other. And I would, I'm sure put something about the flowers, but basically just checking in. I'm thinking of you um, and that card's going to go out. So I'm going to then go into my form here and I'm going to write what kind of card did I send, right? So did I send a sympathy card? Did I send just an encouragement card, an inspirational card, a summer card, a seasonal card, a birthday card, an anniversary? I'm going to write down what card I sent. And if I decided to throw a gift on it, uh, because send out cards does have gifts as well. And a lot of times I will throw in something really fun. I'll throw in, um, you know, I love these. They're these little inspirational um, card size gifts. And I just love them because they don't cost very much money. And, um, and people just love them. They're like little pop-up things. So if I decided to do a gift or if I threw in some brownies or just something, you know, that was appropriate, um, I would note it on my um, sheet here. So I go through, again, and when you're early on in this, um, starting and just getting into the habit of it, it might take you all 20 minutes to do five cards, but I've been doing it for a while. I can do anywhere from 20 to 30 now um, in that 20 minutes just because um, I don't get all crazy and, uh, you know, I don't make real, real fancy cards. I mean, I just throw something sweet, inspirational, motivational, or applicable to something that's gone on on Facebook. And I will um, note it here, and then I go back into my Team Z, which I showed you about, and I note it here because it's counting towards my numbers, which are tied to a um, 
an income that I, uh, that I have for myself and it all equ equates into that. So again, won't get too much in that, but I just want to kind of let you know my process. So I then go back to here. Now, what am I going to do with my second 20 minutes? Well, what I told you is that, um, you know, and you're going to see this in the third 20 minutes that says warm calls. And I am going to show you how to do cold calls for those of you who are completely fine with doing cold calls. But my follow-ups are going to be um, anywhere from, let's just say that I've done um, a network marketing event, um, network marketing, sorry, a networking event. Like I'm in a million cups. I'm in BNI. Um, I'm in a lot of local things here. Um, if I had been to, you know, whatever your hobbies are, something in your church, you've met a new person and all, if you aren't actively, I mean, this is the truth of it. Anybody that's in sales or in a business that has clients, customers, patients, we have got to be constantly, um, you know, we have to be networking and not networking for our business, but it's simply just meeting new people and, and being open to meeting new people. And uh, uh, one of the things that I'll be training um, when I get back from um, the seven levels communi uh, communication is really about becoming the community connector. And I've started, I started implementing some of those principles that uh, were in that book. And one of the things that he does talk about is becoming a community connector. Some of you are probably already that or naturally that. I have some friends that they just, Man, you know, you go to them. Like, you know that Danielle, my God, she knows everybody. And if she doesn't know them, she's going to find. When you can become that person, that's where this second set of 20 minutes comes from. Your follow-up, okay? Your follow-up into, um, I'm just trying to, where's my business cards? I just had, um, this was, this was someone that I just met actually yesterday. Um, and what I do with my follow-ups are this, <clears throat> excuse me, if I don't send, so every time I meet someone brand new, I take their card, I um, go to my phone to my send out cards, and I put their information in, and I send them a card that says, just nice to meet you, um, great to meet you, looking forward to the possibilities, um, and I send them some brownies. Um, now, not always do I send brownies, but most of the time I send some brownies, like, especially if it's someone that I could potentially do business with, or could be a great uh, referral partner or somebody that could be a great service to my, the people that I know, but I do that immediately. And then out of seven levels, the thing that he says is to then make a phone call and then, um, uh, make a phone call, send a card or send a note card, and um, um, and then an email. And so what I would do here in this 20 minutes is if there were people that I had met since the day before, I would do those follow-ups if I hadn't already done them. So again, I'm going to make a phone call that said, hey, it was great to meet you. I'm going to send them an email, and I'm going to send them a card. That is what's going to happen in this 20 minute follow up. It's also going to be um, my time where I've sent out cards um, or I've sent an email or I've sent a video email or um, maybe I've responded to something on a Facebook post or, um, you know, maybe I've made a new connection on Facebook. Um, this is where I might follow up with um, either a phone call, phone calls are the most powerful. Um, I, I keep texting at a very, very, very minimum. I'm either gonna do an email, I'm gonna send a card, or I'm gonna pick up the phone. Um, but whatever your, uh, whoever your uh, relationship is, you know how they communicate, and it might be good to just send a quick text. Maybe it is, um, you know, you've uh, sent a card or you've sent an email and maybe it's just a text that just says, hey, Jane, um, you know, I love seeing you, you know, win that marathon or run that marathon. Hope you, you know, hope you liked your card, you know, something like that. I'm going to then write them down, right? Who did I follow up with? Uh, what was the purpose of the follow up? And then I'm going to jump down to my 
third 20 minutes. And this is where I call warm calls or cold calls. So again, it can be either. And, and there might, um, in these situations, there might be the ability or the opportunity to set an appointment, which is why I do have appointments. Appointments could be everything from um, having, and I'm, again, I'm not gonna get into this, but um, there, there's a very strategic way to do your appointments. Um, it's called stacking. And, um, and I've actually really kind of almost mastered this and it is one of the most amazing things to do is to stack your appointments. I am gonna do another teaching on this. Um, but your appointments could be appointments for coffee, right? Um, a coffee to just get to know someone um, a coffee to reconnect with a past client, a coffee to, um, to just get together with someone that refers you business, or maybe that just recently sent you a referral. That's where I'm also going to send, if someone has sent me a referral, somebody has made an introduction to me to someone, um, someone uh, referred me a vendor that would be a really powerful, you know, one of my power preferred vendors, you know. Uh, that's who I'm going to be following up and saying, hey, thank you. Uh, my warm cold calls are going to be, oh goodness, some, some more of that. Um, but I really like to do this time right here for new um, um, preferred power partners, um, getting to know community connectors, um, reaching out to local businesses. So this is where I would make a call, where I would make calls to, um, you know, dentists. Um, if I don't have a dentist in my power, um, in my power circle, um, to a landscaper. If you don't have your power circle together, um, one, you need to decide who needs to be in that and who would be, um, you know, who are valuable people that you have in your circle that other people need to know about. And this is where, when you're doing your 20 minutes and, and you're calling, let's just say a past client, and you're saying, Jane, how are you? You know, it's been, you know, a few months since we talked. How are things? You know, if they're in business, you know, how's business? Um, well, you know, business is, um, you know, business isn't going that great or well, business is going amazing. Um, you know, I just, I wish I could just stay on top of it. You know, um, whatever their situation is, how are children, obviously, um, you know, asking questions around your family, the relationships, their occupation, their goals. Um, when you ask questions about that, you know, one of the questions I always love to ask in my power hours is, you know, What's a big goal that you have this year? You know, what's a personal goal? You know, how are you doing with that goal? How can I support you in that goal? And that's where power hours can be so, um, you know, where you don't have to feel bad because you're literally, whoever you're reaching out to on the other side of the email or the other side of the telephone call, and again, I'm gonna encourage you that these are phone calls, um, is, you know, what is it that I can do to encourage you, um, motivate you, keep you accountable um, in dot, 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 you know, um, and then I'm going to write it down, right? Spoke to Jane and she is, you know, she's trying to, um, um, let's just say she needed staffing, right? And she's like, gosh, I really need, you know, a great front desk person, or um, I need, you know, someone that can help me in our business. Well, then you know what you do? Then you say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to figure it out. And then you know what you do? You go to Facebook. Hey, I've got a, you know, an awesome uh, uh, person in, in my, um, um, that's a friend that's looking for this. And do you know of anybody? That's, that's when you stay top of mind, when you become that person that literally you called, it wasn't anything about real estate, you're not asking for business, you're not asking in if they know someone that's going to buy or sell, they know you're a real estate agent. The simple fact that you're just staying in touch with them, staying in front of them, 
bringing value to them, meaning you're calling and finding out what can you do for them. I mean, I'm a big prayer, all right? I'm a community chaplain by credential, only not that it means anything to me, but I always tell people, listen, I'm a community chaplain. So if you know of anybody that ever needs, you know, um, I just prayed for the lady anglers of their first fishing tournament of the year, you know, so I always let people know, listen, I'm a chaplain. So if anybody ever needs, you know, prayer or they need something blessed or, you know, they're getting ready to, to do an event, you know, so I always just let people, so if there's things like that that you do, definitely let people know. Um, it doesn't always have to be tied to business. You can say, listen, I'm a community connector. Um, if I don't, you know, have the connection, boy, I sure know people who do and I'm happy. So if there's ever anything you need, you know, and you don't kind of know where to turn, please turn to me. Let me see what I can do to help. Um, so you've got your first 20, which is sending out your cards. Your second 20 is following up with the cards that you've sent, the emails that you've sent. And the last 20 is those warm calls, which maybe you've sent out cards to people you didn't know. How about um, for sell by owners? How about expireds? How about farming, um, you know, a community? And again, I have a very different philosophy on farming. Um, but let's just say that, um, you know, you decided to do a farm and my farms are again, very different, smaller, street by street, really saturating a street. Um, and I do that with our cards. <clears throat> but then I may know somebody that knows somebody. So that's, that might be where I would do those calls right here. Maybe to an expired, maybe to a for sale by owner, maybe to someone in my farm. Um, the other one that I absolutely love is calling again, new businesses, local businesses. I'd love to know more about your business. I love to know who your perfect client is. I would love to know how I can, you know, send direct business resources to you, right? That is a great time. And then you start all over, right? You make that call to a local restaurant and then the next day you follow up and you send them a card. Hey, it was great talking to you. I love learning a little bit. I'm looking forward to the coffee that we're going to have together. So, you go through the 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, and depending on, you know, what your timing is, how much money you want to make, then maybe you take a 10 or 15 minute break and you go do it again, right? Just depending on how many um, hours that you designate a day or a week to your power hour. So um, I do want to, let me just stop my thing here. Um, I do want to, <laughs> yeah, um, sorry, Aubrey, I just saw that. Yes, they're having, it's a really cool coaching thing. I'm taking like five or six people with me from my organization and because I just thought it was so amazing. But um, anyway, I want to um, find out if you don't mind um, with those of you that are on how many of you are doing some level of power hour now? Um, whether it's once a day, if it's, you know, a couple of times a week and, you know, are you doing an hour of power hour right now? Are you doing more than an hour? I would love to know just kind of where you are. And, um, and then I would love if this is, you know, if this has resonated with you, if this is something you um, can see that obviously could bring great value and great reward um, to your business, um, you know, how can I help you besides teaching you this, you know, at what level of accountability? Yes. Yep. However, mine seems very scattered and not focused. Yep. Um, once a day, one hour power of written cards and made phone calls. Awesome. Okay. So Kelly, you are like everyone. And this is, I mean, I don't know how to explain this. Like if we knew, like if we like seriously knew like down in our gut that if nothing could come against power hour, because it truly is the things that, the, the thing that is going to um, um, position us within our community to be that real estate person that people want to do business and refer business to, we would block it in our calendars and um, we would not let anything interfere with it. And so my suggestion 
And I always really, um, my power hours are in the morning, um, just because that's when I'm my freshest. Um, that's when I, um, it's just when I like to do it. And, um, and I go nine to 11 and then I take a 15 or 20 minute break and then I go 12, um, cause I, I'll work through a lunch and, and do things or I might uh, do, um, emails or I might do videos or I might do something that, um, you know, that I can just grab a little something while I'm sitting at my desk. But if you can block that time that you know nothing's going to come against it, um, and it's hard when you're in real estate because home inspections come up and, I mean, I get things come up, but 99% of those things are things that can all be worked around your one hour. And so if you can commit to yourself that nothing is going to interfere with that one hour, and y'all, I promise, you try this for 90 days, five cards a day, five follow-ups, five new warm calls, you know, warm, cold calls a day. If you just did five, five, and five, and you did that five days a week, heck, if you did it three days a week and you did it for 90 days, I promise you are going to see serious change in your business. Um, again, buy seven levels of communication. It's going to help you. Um, it's going to help you with mindset and a whole bunch of other stuff, um, into this form. Um, but it will, it literally will change your life. I don't practice full-time real estate anymore. I actually refer my real estate um, business out and I don't actively, um, I don't actively uh, have conversations about transactional real estate, um, but I do have, because I did so much real estate in my past, I have people that come back to me and, um, and I do refer that business out. I have a partner, we're not business partners, but I have someone that I can refer my business to. Um, but in my business now, which is helping people in relationship marketing um, and primarily through send out cards, I'm doing the same thing. I'm reaching out to local businesses and small business owners and real estate agents and mortgage people. And so I have to do the exact same thing now that I did then. And, um, and I have been doing this really solidly for, for several weeks. And I can tell you that it's, you know, it's kind of like, um, it's like working out, right? It's like that muscle it takes a little bit, but my goodness, it's like all of a sudden, once you've got it, then it's exponential and the exponential growth that you're going to see from it um, is really going to be rewarding in your business. Let me just see what you said here. Goals on our written cards, made phone calls. I do have a goal, but I'm a new agent and need help working on communication coming from a place of service. Um, um, get the book, sweetie. Um, seven levels of communication. It will absolutely help you. And I'm going to be doing a lot of training and coaching out of that. Hmm. just as soon as I come back from that coaching, um, a lot of it is stuff that I was already doing in my business. I think that's why that book resonated because it was articulated so well and it's such an easy read. Um, and I recommended it to about 50 people and I'll be honest, about 30 people bought that book. And, um, I told you five of them are going to go get coached with me and get trained. It was that impactful. So, um, you've got the form to use. Um, definitely check out Teamsy. This is just a really, really awesome. It's a 30-day free trial. Um, if you've got questions, I'll help you. Of course, I know you know this. I, I do send out cards. So for any of you who are not currently using send out cards, um, I'm going to send you just a quick little three-minute overview. Um, show you how it works. And um, they just came out with four new plans a few months ago, it's, you know, I spent thousands and thousands of dollars a month marketing. Um, I can basically do all my marketing for three or $400 a month now. And, um, and part of that is send out cards uh, with, they have a, an unlimited card, unlimited postage now for $97 and one forty seven. It's like ridiculous. Um, and so it has just, um, it's, it's really, really been a game changer. And so I, I've got, you know, dozens of agents signing up every single week. So if you have any interest in that, um, I will shoot you a quick video and get together with me. I'm happy to, um, 
to show you, you know, how to incorporate that into the seven levels, uh, into your power hours, and into um, staying on top of your follow-up, expanding your network into new businesses, um, and getting your preferred um, power people um, in uh, with send out cards. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. And um, I, there will be a copy of the recording that I will upload and send out to you. And um, if you didn't get the form, the, um, the uh, document, just send me a quick message and um, I'll make sure you get it, but you all should have it in your inboxes. And if there's, uh, who do you, okay, let's see here. Who do you mail to when you're a brand new agent? Sure, that is an awesome, awesome, awesome question, Jessica. So the first people that I would mail to when you're a brand new agent, of course, is your sphere, right? Um, and when you read Seven Levels of Communication, he gives a very great example of just having 150 people and how those 150 lead to basically 22,000 people. I won't go into detail with it. But start with your immediate sphere. And sometimes in real estate, and I, I see a lot of the posts on the new agent sites, um, sometimes it sucks going to your sphere because sometimes they break your heart, right? And this is the problem. They know you, whether that's good or bad. They think, oh, she's a new agent. And so some are willing to maybe try. It's very interesting that sometimes you have better success with people you don't know um, if they really aren't your advocate, if they really um, don't uh, see that, you know, they don't see that in you. Um, but typically, you do start with your friends and your family and people that they know. And the thing that you want to start off with is, um, is beginning those relationships. Start showing your expertise, right? Not inside the card, not inside of your things. Still keep cards about the person, cards about, um, you know, their life, them. The back of the card, that's where send out cards is so powerful, is your branding and what we can do, and I can help you with that. We can do your branding on the back that's really gonna start positioning you as the expert. You can sprinkle in some things that can really start showing your knowledge, especially as you do get opportunities to close deals and pulling in your testimonials of people um, that you've done the transaction for. You want to start collecting those right away. Um, but we can definitely get into more detail about that. Just reach out to me. I'm happy to help you uh, with that. Let's see. If you run out of cards, do you call instead? <coughs> you always call, Jessica. You always, always, always call. But I promise you, you will never run out of reasons for sending cards. And, and I, I've been doing the cards for a little over six months now. It's not a matter of running out. It literally is, is like, I don't get them all done. So uh, tonight I've got more cards to do and I did a bunch today. There's never, there's, you never run out of reasons um, to do cards, but always do calls. If, if those who will do the phone calls are the ones who'll get the business, I promise. I uh, need to sign up for send up cards, hook me up. I'd love to add it to my, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, 33 touch. Aubrey, I've got a guy that's doing that, um, and uh, he's doing the 33 touch, and he includes the send-out cards. He went, he, he's, he's doing like 114 million this year, like in four years. He's gone from zero to 114 million. So definitely, let's connect. I'll help you get set up with uh, send-out cards. I sure appreciate all of you guys, and thanks for staying on for so long. Um, always know that you can reach out to me, message me. I'm happy to help. It's what I do. Um, again, uh, my send out cards, clients, customers, they get a lot of my attention. Um, and, and that's why, because they're my customer and I want to make sure that they're wildly successful. And I just happened to have had a 
decent uh, real estate career. So anyway, um, I'll end it from here, uh, unless there's anything else, amazing questions. I love to, I love the interaction and I look forward to getting to know um, each and every one of you on a more uh, personal level. So definitely um, I'll be reaching out uh, to you. And um, also if you will message me, um, you can private message me or you can email me because you will have gotten my email. Send me your mailing address and I'd love to pop you a quick uh, card in the mail too. And you can, uh, as, as a little thank you for attending tonight. So thanks you guys. Um, if you've got any additional questions, you're happy to send me a, a, a private message through Facebook or email. Thanks you guys. Good night.